Hello, everyone. This is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary Trom Yuan Shao Let's Play. We continue for episode three from turn eight in the winter season of 191. So last time we confederated Han Fu and picked up a bunch of generals that is draining our economy a little bit. We also expanded our army, picked up our first siege weapon, which is a mix between strategists and commanders. So we're able to put it on Yuan Shao himself and we can just spam Captain Red News. Uh, we are waiting for one more turn to get most of our army up and running. And then we'll be marching to take the southern border or actually the northern bank of the Yellow River here. So aside from that, it's winter season. We're going to be putting people into the court positions next turn so we can pick up some faction council which will become available now that we hit our second Marquis rank. We also get two reforms, which is quite nice. Uh, it speeds things up. Let's see. I'm going to keep it empty. I don't think we need a grain storage that fast. 4% of 115 is 4.6. 5, let's just say 5. It doesn't even cover... The 10 points of upkeep it's just a bad pickup here it does change public order but most of this is faction support so that will sway itself back by itself we don't have to do anything there let's just continue hmm how aggressive are the han faction now they have the same face Same exact face. Even though we do want to expand, we also have this mission that we got to think about, right? We're picking up number of fights. That's what matters. So we can get a fight here with him. Uh, Tanfong, we don't need him, so we don't have to keep him alive. I intend to promote Yanao and Venchol, even though they are not crucial here. Just hard for them to get a job. So this will keep them happy for a little while. We also have administrators that we have picked out. This is going to be more of the food place, and they're going to have more income option here. Both of them are slightly food, but because there's a little bit of commerce here, so you with the income from all sources, going to do a little bit better. And then here, which is our capital, we're going to develop. We're going to put Hanfu here for more food, public order, limited construction discount, and so forth. So now we can do our faction council. We can mark Gong Sun Zan. We can make Zhao Yun hate him. Ooh, that is actually pretty interesting. That's pretty much a waste. We can slow his army down. All these things cost money, which is the only thing. I mean, knowing his position is awesome, but getting a chance to pick up Zhao Yun, who I don't think usually spies. This is like us hoping that he will just leave him. It's also hard to imagine that he would have lower than 30 points. So maybe just this. We need intel. Oh, he is coming. That is very good intel. Hmm, he's in strike range. Should we actually just rush back? It's a small city with walls. I don't know how big his army is. It's a little bit concerning. We could do this. Well, these are changed. Oh, wow. That's actually quite good. Huh, militia buffs.
Let's grab that. Up a mix of these we can get here next turn. Fast track to retinue upkeep discount actually. I guess we can focus on some of these military ones first, especially getting two per turn. We could just sack this city, let him take it. And focus on the south first, and then go fight him, because now we're getting pulled in ways we don't want to get pulled. Hmm. Okay, we're going to do that. Well, this is safe for now. I'm curious if we can loot people. I want to try it just for this mod. We're going to try to find someone who is unbreakable, maybe from a stubborn trait or something like that. Do we have anyone like that? Because I know now commanders are not automatically unbreakable. Does Jungle still have his speed bonus? They changed it. And also only when morale is higher than 50%. I wonder if they just removed Unbreakable from the game, actually. Who... Don't we mind dying? Maybe Xingping, actually. Because we were debating whether to keep him or not. And he also do not have a retinue. We'll experiment. We're going to get our fights. We're going to test out how strong the siege weapons are. We're going to test out the porcupine crossbowmen. And also try to stack some kills on our captain. Hmm, not a good map for those things. I'm gonna have to drag them out over here. He's also a captain. So what happens? Oh, so it lasts forever, but if we want to turn it off. Oh, this three second cooldown kicks in. I mean, they will approach us. When they see this range. All these things are slow because of the active as well. We're in no rush. Actually, I don't want them to steal the kills.
I mean, these are great anti-infantry weapons. Hmm, they don't display the additional 40% here. Oh, that's... Oh, oh, they do. Okay, it didn't, act, it didn't activate until now. We're gonna go pick up those routed units. They can try to shoot me in the forest, not gonna really hit me. Porcupine shooting. Rate of fire, I mean, one volley, right? It's pretty decent. I feel like Friendly Fire did more to us than anything else. Hmm, crossbows don't kill generals? Not very accurate. We'll see how many we can pick up. We're definitely over that 300 mark. Which is good. Getting closer to that 500 mark. Take us a couple more fights and we'll get there. Yeah, we got the kill. Historically, we execute him, so similar results. I'll just let them run away, I guess. Or not. Well, that's a big trunk. Unfortunate. Ah, nice hundred here. I figure we just don't go back. We lose Unping to them, and we recruit a second army away once we get the discount going. We're gonna take money. He's gone. Um, we're just gonna march over here. We're gonna leave that alone. We might lose this as well, but not really a scary army. Let's see what we want here. I guess we just save it up and see what secret plan is. They're still unbreakable here. Anyhow. Uh, this still feels like a cheap upgrade. I mean, it's 500 for what? Marginal increase of 40? It's a very slow payoff. But then again, all these are very slow payoff. Okay. We have one available trade route, but we just have no trade partners.
Gotta keep checking here. And that's pretty much all we are gonna do. Let's see if Gonsunzan comes. Took a baby step. And that's it. Still in the shadows. He took this. Oh, he took Bohai. That's an aggressive Han army. Wu Huan Alliance. We get replenishment. Okay. Nice little event there. Dongcheng. We're fully healed. Okay. Wang Shao is coming by himself, though, so. Rather weak. We should be able to take both. Good timing there. We want this. That's pretty much it for buildings. Our heir is going to give us one starting rank. Faction support, not that important. The income is nice. We'll probably get that soon after. Administrator, reserves, peasantry income. That's what we want. So we're going down this way. There's an increase of experience gain, which is why we're seeing all these level up so fast. Oh, this is speed. No longer march. But this is campaign movements. We want this. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, assignment's fine. This one can be cancelled. We're no longer... Actually, we're still in Hone. After taking that, we'll still be healing. So we'll keep that. That's a good number here. We have lots of food. There's a lot of people we should actually be giving food to, so we're going to be doing a little bit of diplomacy here. Like, we could give him a food, and this deal will push through. We already have non-aggression with Tzu It comes on turn one. Now he's going to be also reliant on our food supplies. Not that he needs it. Okay, and then with the excess food... We're not at war right now. We get them hooked on our food. And then we take care of Gongsunzan first, and then we take care of them afterwards. I mean, it's a lot of food, but having excess right now doesn't mean too much for us. We might as well trade it for some cash. Even if it's very, very little cash. It's also the knowledge of knowing that they're not going to attack us because we're on a food deal. That's everyone. And we still have two excess, so works out very nicely. I guess we loop them first, since Gongsunzan is not moving. Any change of spies? No turncoats. That's fine. We are going to get to 150 pretty soon. No interesting recruit has shown up. Zhang Hong is gone. Someone picked him up. And let's see what happens here. Oh, Gongsunzan fought. Oh, big stack. Big loop. Let's see if we can pull this off. 
Yeah, Jolyon was very happy. Minus 30 point wouldn't have done anything. We're just doing this for a science experiment. We're not going to be looping anyone the rest of the campaign. I just want to know if the AI with this mod is still stupid. Like, like I fully intend to lose this settlement. Um, where are the enemy armies that... Okay. So this group has to run probably this way. Towards, like, that hill. Hmm, I can be on the opposite side. They don't have fire arrows. Yeah, they're doomed. Maybe you guys are interested in chasing me? We don't want to be too fatigued. Oh, morale kicked in. Well, that was quick. Look at that. Outnumber changes. That is impressive. Now army loss kick in, right? Because they all went. I guess morale modification changes things? I mean, we're not unbreakable. If we're unbreakable, I guess we can still pull it off. Are they faster than me? No, they're slower than me. We're not... Oh, there's fire arrows. Settlement damage kicks in. I figure we get some army loss once they route off. Horses outnumbered. Okay, that's fair. Wanted to know. I think with un Unbreakable, it's still possible. Are those town units? Alrighty. We got the money from those buildings, so don't really care. Um, Seeing Ping, if he dies, get executed, get captured, I'm fine either way. Killed in battle. That's fine. Saved us some money. A great loss also gave us some experience. Don't draw his kiln. We'll be taking our land. This is just delegate. Again, movement. Almost distant courage. They are in the striking range of our capital. I think we want to recruit an army, maybe even here. I'm gonna throw Zhang He on the field. And recruit two stacks of captains.
We're gonna do a cavalry, and then we're just poor. Ooh, he has a unique unit. Gunpowder unit. Hmm. Ends up not saving money. We can be a negative income, that's fine. It's not a big deal. Yeah, we wouldn't fire him. We would keep him. We'll have to fight our way to get cash. That's pretty much it. Wait, Liu Bei? He has no food, so they're worth a lot to him. It's positive. Liu Bei helped us out there. Uh, we can... Get secret plan actually. And yeah, we'll use the OG group. I mean, cavalry is probably the one we keep. Just want to know what it is. Passive buff self. In combat with enemy general, gives yourself damage resistance and plus six hit points. Hit bonus. Oh, hit rate, basically. I wonder if it's random, or why is this a secret? I mean, having a melee cab be a general killer makes sense. We'll take that. Mm, not sure if we want to upgrade things when it's possible that it gets destroyed next turn. Oh, he moved back. Don't draw us dead, we don't need to see that. Don't run away, wanna kill him. We, we, we're not rushed back. If one's not, not pushing us, we're fine. We have a daughter. Okay, political marriage in the future. Renshaw also comes of age. All right, Shen Pei is historically a big general of ours. And does not look bad at all. Mark target. Okay, ability is not so great. Oh, 
Oh. Okay, we're gonna splurge. He's willing to be a spy, so we know he's safe. Also has no history. This should be our fifth battle. Oh no, our six. Even better. Even better. We just need 30 more kills. Just 30 more kills. We're gonna fight it just to get that 30 kills. He's at the edge of the water, which means he probably has no place to rec uh, retreat. So the kill should just destroy the army. We're going to probably send Zhanghe's, item, uh, Zhanghe's army to first pr protect our capital. And then we'll still do our sweep of the coast. Take a little high ground. He'll be marching towards us. And he'll never get close to us, so... I don't think this even matters with where we're putting these units. In case they bump into us, the captain fights, and the captain fights. Because we need to lock down those 30 kills. Go for the flank. I mean, having a siege weapon still makes a big difference. Increased range feels worth it. Actually, charge into that one. Yeah, cavalry countered. And they got wrecked. <laughs> Twenty one kills, almost there. Do they fire bomb someone? Suicide? Oh, that's why they got wrecked. Didn't get a single kill and just got wrecked. They have a grenade ability. That is interesting. We got 41 kills, that's enough. We don't need to fight the rest. Hmm. Yellow turbans with this mod sounds kind of fun. Suiciding bomb. I mean, for a mod that's overhauling, making things more realistic by forcing you to use units and then hands you all these gunpowder weapons, it's a little weird. Alright, what are we doing here? We're gonna... We're going to push. I don't think we need to stay and heal. He's coming back next turn. I think we can keep him for this turn. This way we all get nice and healed up. And then they can move and we can shift the assignment to a different place. Feel safe. Alright, 
not a fan of this group now. I feel like Cavalry's probably the answer for every instance. Eh. 200 base. It'd be worth 20. It, w it wouldn't pay back in a long time, but... I guess we'll take that for now. Ooh, who is it? Nobody that I want. He's right here. If he attacks Pingman and takes it, we'll siege him. We need this for him. And if he does take Pingyuan, then Zhang He should move there too. I feel like we can lose the 10% mustering and still be pretty much full. Because if we shift, we lose the mustering, but we can get closer to the low target. Let's go here. Oh, actually, we can't. Because we'll lose another 10% if we get out of the commandery. Yeah, this way we'll still be full. He went back. Well, he fought someone. Badly damaged. Should we go for him now? That's the question. Is this opportunity? Golgan's wrecked. Okay, that's fine. The royal nep nephew. I mean, he is our nephew. He has mock? Only two use. Okay. I'll, I'll think about it. Maybe. Maybe I'll pick him up. He might have good items too. Oh, his art is messed up. His wife has better items than he does. We'll, we'll think about it. Um, They are really weak. They have night battle. We gotta make sure with all these new ability changes. Okay, they do not, so... As long as we're together, we will be fine. It's a good chance to just cripple them. Han can wait. This is safe now. Yeah, Golgan's art is messed up. The imported A Princess file might not have worked well here. That's pretty much all the money. I, th I think it's probably some diplomacy timed out. This is probably like turn 13. Yeah, maybe some diplomacy timed out. We're fine though. Let's see what he has to do. Maybe he'll run? Not very far though. No. That should be our seventh fight. And then recruiting Captain Retinues would be 45% going forward. Civil War. Oh, nice. Huh. I don't know... I actually think that might be a good move, given the Civil War thing. 
He's gonna escape north. He's not recovering at all. He's not getting supplies. I can pick up this and he's not going to get any more supplies either. He had to rebuild, which is why we destroyed all the buildings. Alright, the upkeep's rate decreased. We just have to pick this up one more fight. And then we do these red ones. Three more years. We pick this up. It's a lot of good ones. A lot of replenishment boost on the reform tree now. Going very military focused. I feel like we can just take this first, which will limit his supply situation even more. We'll, we'll move the other army together here. There's no point to fight it by itself. Imperial favor is now on the table. Not 197 yet, so whatever acute amount we get doesn't really matter. He built a school? That's such a joke. Gong Sun San building schools? If that was the case, he would never have been a problem in the north. He rebuilt that, which is good. We're just going to get another peasantry here. We'll keep this small and steady. We're going to do some green buildings, so we're going to do the farmer trait, which is why we kept them. We need to boost satisfaction and increase income here. Yellow Turbine's rebuilding. That is a very cool armor setup. Oh, we cannot negotiate with him. Okay. So we're definitely at mercy of getting hit. But whatever. I'm going to make him run. And then we'll just backtrack. Yep, we cover him. Perfect, perfect. Uh, we don't have money for faction council, so... Not happening. I could actually freely recruit them, because it's only going to cost us lineage. And then we can dump them afterwards if we don't want to keep them because expensive. His art is fixed once he's joined us. Come on, he's family. Why is he costing us salary? Definitely getting rid of her. He has no special unit either, so extra oil puddles. The mock is kind of interesting, but I don't think we need it. It's only two use. Yeah. We're just recruiting them for the items. I could also banish them for money. Uh, most of our faction, except for Chun Yichun, could handle it. He did rank up here. We're just going to straight up fire. Plus, if they were rank 4 or higher, we could have got more money from the banish. They're not 134. 
We're gonna have to take that. Tao Tian, we have vision of him. First, let's feed him some food. And then Zhan Ba is in his faction, so. Now we will be able to see him if he's willing to turn coat. Any new choices? All right, we did get some cheaper choices. That is not bad. The population growth will add up. Those are wasted. All right, so we're happy with this. Got a new shirt as well. You can have the increased damage. Uh, we're going to have to save up a little bit more before we can recruit another one. Then we get a lineage boost as well. We're happy with where things are. I could... No, we're good. Peace. Gonna pay us for this. Oh, well... We could take it and clean up this area, take care of the yellow turban, and then just go back to war with him. He's rather weak right now, obviously. But he's not weak to the point where we can finish him. Because he has more land behind and we're just going to have to keep pushing. It's not a lot of money. Let's finish him. Like, we paid off everyone around us in food. Oh, he's still attacking. He's he's not going to heal, basically. This is good. This was our target anyway, so we just follow him. We have him on a tracker. Not going to go anywhere. Do we take his capital? That's the question. We do have a siege weapon. He's left it undefended. If he doesn't have a military infrastructure here, he does not. We can probably just delegate it without losing too much. I need to see... I, I, I need to see... I, I, I cancelled it, but he has a lot of items. It's just lineage. We don't have to spend cash. It's also rank 4. I want to see if there's like a trebuchet on these. Like, where do we get trebuchets? Because Juggernaut's clearly a, a character thing. Take all your items. I mean, he's not a spy. He was a former faction leader that got wiped by Liu Yan. He's out in the E province. Wisdom of the Waterfall. New name. New effects. Defensive. Yeah. He's rank 4. So if we say goodbye to him, we get 1,600, which I think is worth. And we just take a quick look. Anyone in the red? Should be no, because our wife's assignment should have kicked in. All right, so probably this one first, administrator duty. Uh, I mean, this is within our sights. We might as well take it and just push him down a tier. His army is not really a threat, even if it shows up here. I can solo it. That's Pyrrhic. We can help him split the damage, basically. Imperial favor. Okay. That will stay. I 
I think we just get another group of cavalry. But it is pricey. It's a lot cheaper to get infantry. We actually don't go over. Let's get some spear units. We need a front line for those bomb throwers. Right, that's our mission. We hit the first tier, we got 30 points. Good for us. We actually still have quite a bit of cash. We're gonna not upgrade the tier. The level one buildings are the most efficient. We'll try to get those first. Yeah, he's not in, he's not healing at all. So like, I don't know what he's gonna do. He's wearing himself out. I think it's the new supply mechanic that's like ruining him. It's also really hard for us right now as well. Actually, want to get them guerrilla deployment. Because they're cavalry units, we can flank behind. It's definitely very good. We're not in enemy territory, but that's also very useful. Charge bonus. Yeah, we're happy with this. He's going to be willing to pay a lot at this point. That is a very good deal. We took Bohai and now we can trade with him. Okay, let's do this separately. And this can tide us over for a bit. So Gongsunan doesn't have the north. He did not take care of Liu Yu, who was his boss. So we might actually just kill him, which is what we want. This is perfect. So taking Bohai was definitely the right choice. We get access to the trade route, we get access to a friendly partner who is actually pretty wealthy and willing to give us all his cash. We also haven't done a food deal with him either, so there's that potential. Oh, even this. How much food does he need? He has food, so it's 1.5 here. We're not going to do these separately because the base is 1.6. Play, yep, yeah, 140. We'll get there eventually. There we go. He has two pieces of land left. Now, can we... Oh, we're not... We're not high enough rank to vassalize. Alright, or else we can think about absorbing him. That's an interesting choice, though. Do we delay it till then? 60, 60 prestige is quite a lot. Because we can pick up this army. Zhao Yun and Gong Sun would be great to pick up. I don't want him to be in Pingyuan, I want to chase him. I mean, I don't mind if he's here, so maybe we come down and fight him here, chase him out, take this, and then sign a peace deal, keep him alive as a small faction. And then one day we try to vassalize him so that we can pick up Zhao Yun. Hmm, I think that's probably the better plan. Yeah, our economy has recovered. Things look much better. And we even have two full stacks. We can get him some interesting units soon. We're probably going to do one multi-bolt crossbow just to make enemies run towards us. And then he can probably do a few bomb slingers. They have very limited range, but I guess it's quite fun. We'll have to experiment with these. 
the army lacks range, and I guess our go-to range is Porcupine Crossbow. Maybe like three, one, and two, or maybe two, three, and one, just because these are more fun. Something like that. And then a lot of cavalry. Anyhow, uh, let's continue here. What is this? Set up a seat. Oh! Oh, in! Oh, he's forcing them to not enter the fight. But I can just retreat. Because by sieging that, you eliminate them from reinforcing. He wants a pig. Nope. And this is how a grudge is started. Alrighty, so this is a good... Oh, so you lost the Civil War. Okay. Wait a second. This is the first splash damage we saw that's not limited to a general. I guess you had to pay 15% of your health, but it's still 7.5k splash. I guess because of the health cost. Yeah, we'll be discovering a lot of new things in this mod. Uh, this is a fight that they're forcing us to do. We're going to have to obviously save our army. We're going to have to attack this army who is sieging to drag our main army into the fight. And then we'll basically push them back. I don't want to destroy him. I want to just basically beat this mess. I want to take Pingyuan so that his capital is over here in a useless fishing port. And then we'll finish him off, basically, and uh, peace out with him. That's what I mean. And then Han Territory, Han Territory, Yellow Turban. Go to war with the bandits. Um, as long as the Yellow Turban don't come over, we don't have to go down right now. And once we take care of the Black Mountains, we'll probably wipe out Liu Yu, take the northern corner. Once we have enough prestige to actually try to vassalize him, we'll go back to war with him to see if we can pull that off so that we can recruit Gong Sun Zan and Zhao Yu into our armies. And then go from there. So hopefully everyone enjoyed this episode, and we'll see you all next time. Bye!